It's Thursday, ladies and gentlemen, and it's been a four-day week, so we didn't have a Monday, but today feels like a Thursday, you know? It should feel like a Wednesday, but it feels like a Thursday, you know what I'm saying? Went to the gym this morning, it was upper body stuff, which is good, because my legs are still, like, trashed <laughs> from when I did leg stuff on Tuesday, um, but then I went and I was like, oh, I'm gonna, because it's the last time, I do, like, these workout plans. And you're supposed to do like five days a week. And I didn't do that, I just spread it out over months, <laughs> basically. Because I, I mostly I don't go and do weights, I mostly do like cardio stuff. Kind of, I prefer to go to the gym to sweat, you know, rather than to like lift stuff. It's different. Um, but anyway, that's by the way. Um, but it's the last time I'm doing this set, so like it's, it's, you do a number of weeks of these five day things. And I was like, I'm gonna try, which I did on the leg day, to go heavier than I have before. And I did that, <laughs> and I regret it. And there was also, it was made worse by the fact that one of them, I misread it, it was supposed to be like 15 reps at 10 kilograms, and I was doing 10 reps at 15 kilograms, and that's a lot harder. So, um, yeah, so my arms are battered already. Um, they're gonna ache like shit tomorrow. So I'm looking forward to that, happy birthday. Otherwise, I um, came back, had some fry, uh, poached egg for breakfast, and I've been working away, I've been like rolling through these repos, updating stuff. I'm so bored of this change. <laughs> and I just updated the last thing and it's like, oh, I don't have reference to this thing anymore because you've updated and now I can't get rid of it. And I'm like, fuck off, go away. It's so annoying. Um, but anyway, so I'm just trying to figure that out. We've just had a couple of meetings and I am Set it in again for a little hour before we have a lunch and learn one. I don't really want to go to the lunch and learn, but... In other news, I had a delivery. If you remember last week, I had some of these. These shoes here, they're like, they're all birds thing. It's this colour exactly. They don't have my size in stock. Anyway, the, the sole broke on them um, and I got them returned and got new ones. So like, I always liked those shoes, but they do kind of look like grandma shoes. <laughs> And they're very like big and chunky, which is good though. I, I, I like to say I like them. They're really comfortable. I wore them basically, I bought them for scenarios where it was rain, like basically want shoes that I can wear when it's muddy or raining. These are like rain repellent, um, but it's not appropriate for Timberlands, which are waterproof um, and not appropriate for white Converse that get muddy. So, annoyingly, I, I do I need some shoes. So I ordered some in a different colour. So I actually got the running ones. These are just like the standard shoes. I got the running ones in a different colour because they don't have that colour. And I'm not sure what I think, boys. <laughs> I'm not sure what I think. They are kind of greeny. I was kind of hoping they'd be a little bit more silvery. They also don't have a separate tongue because they're like running shoes. They're a lot more comfortable. But do they go with black jeans? Because that's basically exclusively what I wear. Question is, do I care if they go with black jeans? The amount of people you see walking through town in like office clothes, but that's because they're going to work, not because they think it, they like, this is not something they wear all the time. So I'm trying to figure out if I like them or not. I've put one of them on and walked around the flat, around the house um, while I'm meeting and it was feels comfy. So I don't think it's a comfy thing. It feels more comfortable than my other ones as well. I think that's partially because these do like calf sizes and the 12 is a little bit too big and 11 and a half is... Anyway, I need to decide what I'm doing with that. Um, but what I really need to do is figure out how to fix this terrible problem. So that's what I'm going to do now. Having another one of those days where I am downstairs. I've made enough noises to warrant a cat wandering in trying to find his dinner and yet yeah, He's not here. He's making me think he's escaped. I've fallen for that trick several times, and I'm not falling for it again. Not a bad day of work today, just need to merge some PRs. I find it really difficult to merge PRs because you need like certain ticks from certain like types of people. Like each PR needs a tick from three different types of people, one of which is a, is a QA. I am a QA, and obviously I can't tick my own thing. So it's really hard for me to find a QA that can tick things in like a, a reasonable time frame. But today was not bad. We got through some stuff. I had a really annoying like issue in the middle of the day. Just it just always happens to me. I just wanted to get rid of it. Got rid of it. Um I missed lunch effectively because I was a lunch and learn over lunch and I was like, oh I'm gonna have a sandwich. 
<laughs> Kendall says for a sandwich, I got a message and was like, can you jump on an interview in 30 minutes? I'm like, uh, fuck, yeah. So, a um, bit of a weird one. I kind of had like a, I managed to eat my sandwich and then I was, I had my fruit after dinner. Now I'm making, I was kind of sat here like, I don't know what I'm doing with my time. But somehow, two hours has passed. I don't know what the fuck I've done for the last two hours. I've been eating some chucky egg, doing a little bit of embroidery, and watching some chess videos. But I was like, oh, I need to, I need to, um, need to figure out what I'm going to do, because Laura's going to be coming home soon. She's going to the, she's got like a gym class tonight, but she's now finished. So I'm now putting the oven on. <laughs> but she messaged me, said I'm about to get on the bus. I'm like, what? It's like five o'clock. Are you not going, I assume you're not going to the gym then? No, it's two hours. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what I've been doing. It is a really nice day as well. But it's not that warm. I've got jeans on still. Yesterday I was wearing shorties. What do you think about my shoes, guys? <laughs> He's not hiding. He's in plain sight. He spent most of the day actually in his like little cocoon bed thing down there. And then halfway through the interview, he came and just started like wrapping himself around my legs and got picked up and got belly scratch. So, oh no, it's coming. Oh, I agree with this man. It is time for bed, boys. Yeah, these just, these don't look cool, do they? They'd probably work with shorts, but the color's too light, but too light, but still a color, you know? If it was white, it wouldn't matter as much, but. I'm really unsure un what the call is. Um, Cause I can't, part of me likes them, but I don't think I like them as much as my old ones. And that's, that's the annoying thing. Although they are like, they're actually like running trainers rather than like everyday trainers. And they have like oh, a lot of support in there under my I, arches of your foot. I feel like that's uncomfortable. I can't decide whether or not it's comfortable. Um, presumably it's something to get used to, but otherwise today, standard Friday. Um, I was actually trying to, I forgot that I was doing something a while ago on like trying to make a small update to a blooming form thing. Um, and I just, I'm deploying it into two different environments. It's not working. <laughs> I've changed like, a, I think it's not set up right. Um, or something's changed the way that it's configured. And I think if you deployed a new version of master, it wouldn't work. And I'm conscious of the fact that could also apply to the environments above me. I'm trying to prove it works, but it's NPM. It's like, we have very few like NPM or node apps or whatever. And every time I use NPM and node, I'm like, oh, that's why people think Docker is as good as it is. Personally, I think like Docker is like kind of useful. Like put something in a container, great. I like totally understand it for deploying stuff. Never really used it for local development. Very rare scenarios have I used it as something other than like a tool for deployments. I've run like integration tests in it, spin up, burn down, that kind of shit. But like otherwise, I don't find it particularly useful unless you do npm and node stuff because goddamn that shit is absolute trash it's the finickiest flakiest bullshit <laughs> i've ever worked with uh, it never works ever um so like thank god that like this project builds to a doc file because then i could just run the doc file instead but can i balls just build that shit on its own just errors for no apparent reason god damn anyway that's probably a Windows thing, but either way, it's fucking annoying. After work, I didn't really do much. It's a Friday, so it's half day. Um, Formula One is in the afternoon, and it's qualifying because it's spring weekend. So, that, so a combination of Formula One at a stupid time and being on call effectively meant didn't get anything done. I don't know if we're going to get anything interesting done this weekend either. So we'll see. I need to find a way of spending my, filling my time. I've been doing lots of sewing. I've finished the three like flowers. I'm now on the French knots for like the little bits in the middle of the flower. And then he finishes pattern. So I might be able to finish, especially if we have a quiet weekend, finish his pattern this weekend. That'd be fun. I should definitely finish it by Tuesday. Monty has decided to bond with me. Oh yeah. Laura's outside in the garden because Monty's my favorite now. Correction, I'm Monty's favorite now. Oh yeah. Bit of a slow start today. Like both yesterday afternoon and this morning, I've been like, should I go to work? Uh, should I go to the gym even? Um, I haven't been to the gym <laughs> just because I've been struggling to find like things to do to fill my time but I'm kind of feeling in a bit of a productive mood right now what I'm currently doing is uh, converting my vlog script to running docker containers 
um, because at the moment it doesn't and it's annoying and it means if I'm away for any period of time that I need to render a video then it'd be much easier to render that video on my laptop mobily using a docker container than it would be to transfer footage to between two different computers and all that shit. I was just like, you know what, this would just be a little bit of fun. I've got the container at the moment. I am just, I've got to update the code now because it's like hard coded to, like it's literally looking in the D drive for the right XEs it runs underneath. I've like had to set up images that install stuff. It's great. So, so far so good. Otherwise we're on the run up to lunchtime and the sprint race. We have no other plans today. Basically I'm having a computer day. Once I've done this, I want to do, um, what's it called? I want to do uh, my, I'm trying to see if I can get Maui running on my computer, which involves like Android emulators and stuff. I've completely uninstalled all of it and then reinstalled stuff. And I'm using this as almost like, a, can I get everything working on my computer? Because every now and again, I fuck around with Visual Studio and then it like, it breaks my .NET DLLs. Um, so I'm doing this first, and then once I've got that all sorted, and I know that runs, I'm going to switch to uh, Maui stuff, probably tomorrow at this rate. My cute little baby is on his little chair. To clarify, Mr. Moo is my chair. And a freaking great day today. I got my Docker stuff working. It didn't, um, I didn't get onto the Maui stuff, I'll get onto that tomorrow. Um, but I've got it working now, so my vlog script, I have a little PowerShell uh, script that will build the image, run the container, and then that does all of the stuff like. The problem with my script is, it's a .NET script, but it's basically just like a .NET thing that copies a load of files from one place to another place, and then invokes a process. Uh, and obviously that process has dependencies, and it depends on things being installed, and it either depends on like fonts being installed, or like the program itself being installed, or like at least file paths to those things. But it's a pain in the ass to set up the fonts are so annoying. I can't even put into words how annoying it is to try and get the um... I'm just trying to figure out what gym thing is the next. I'm surprised it's this one. But anyway, that's cool. Yeah, it's surprisingly difficult to get the fonts working. Um, because like it doesn't error, it just runs it. So you have to like prep a video effectively that's only like three minutes long but spreads over three days. Um, and that in itself is relatively fiddly because I, the the way that it's spread across three days, it's calculated from the video files themselves, so you can't spoof it. I can't film, for example, I can't film this clip now and pretend it happened tomorrow, because my scripts would go, oh no, the video information it was filmed on this date at this time, and there's like buffer periods as well, so. Um, but anyway, it's, it's quite clever, I'm quite pleased with it. But it's all like contained in a Docker stuff now, so I can easily run it on other computers, specifically my laptop, which, um, might be useful at some point in the future. More importantly, other computers, should I get a new computer? Otherwise, Formula One, we had a rubbish dinner. It was like a reheated squash lasagna, which we didn't like the first time. It wasn't, well, it was all right the first time, could have been better, and not very good the second. We just watched James Bond, Tomorrow Never Dies. I didn't know I remembered Tomorrow Never Dies before. That's, I think that's the first James Bond I've ever seen. So like, I've watched that several times. I know that one. I didn't recognise Goldeneye. I'd never seen Goldeneye before, but I've seen that one. So we're working our way through. Um, but yeah, it's pretty good. So it's a lot better than Goldeneye, holy shit. But it's bedtime, gym tomorrow, and not really any plans except cleaning and Maui. I want to play with some Maui stuff. Doing lots of like prepping and planning. Oh, Mr. Moo, are you following me, my baby? You know, I came up today for about half an hour of um, Maui stuff. I've been busy all day. Um, and at that point, Laura sends me a link to a house on right Um <laughs> And so I spent 40 minutes looking at houses on right because it was actually a really nice house and a really nice area. And we were like, why is this so cheap? And it's cheap because it's basically next to a dump that a load of like, don't know what the right word is, travelers use caravan people. <laughs> When you're looking at a house and you're like, why is this like 10, 20% cheaper than it looks? <laughs> you could easily add 100 grand to this. I don't understand why it's so cheap. And then you're like, Google Maps, oh, it's kind of semi near a train line. 
and then you go satellite view and you're like, oh. Went gym in this morning, uh, smashed through a new workout. It's a really long one. It's like you have to do like five sets of everything and they're like 10 to 12 reps, obviously. Um, but it's like lots of new stuff. So I had to figure out what I was like kind of the right weight and stuff. But they're all like ranges, which is always good because if you've picked too heavy, you can just drop the range. Or if you pick too light, you can go obviously to the top end and then thing it. It was pretty good. I've discovered I've got really bad hand strength. So like there's one thing where you've got to like lap pull down jobber, be like put it halfway and then you alternate between like just one arm at a time, like that, right? My hands on that one fucking aching like a bitch. I don't know how the end of that clip's gonna work out because my camera crashed. Um, otherwise I had myself, we had breakfast and then we went to the shop to get some lunch stuff. Oh, and then it was cleaning time, clean the kitchen. Um, it's been a while since I played seven deep clean it, needed it. Um, have a nice good deep clean in the kitchen. Watch Formula One. Um, it's kind of wild watching Formula One because your boy, Lewis, my boy, Lewis, Obviously, in the past, he's had the best car. Like, undeniably, they've had the best car. But whenever you, like, put him at the back, for whatever reason, he cuts through. And Bottas could never cut through. If you put Bottas at the back, he'd stay at the back, right? Um, and it's wild watching Lewis being unable to cut through slow-moving cars. Like, cars are slow in front of him, and he just can't get past. And it's wild. Whereas Russell... To be fair, it doesn't look like he can get past slow-moving cars. He just looks like he doesn't get into that situation, you know? He doesn't seem to be getting into the situation. He cut through a lot of traffic at the beginning, like at the start, but then it doesn't look like he gets stuck in the scenario where he's stuck behind a fucking Alfa Tauri or a Williams for 50 laps. It's crazy. But anyway, did that. Then I did my Maui thing. I've managed to fix my computer, so I can now run the emulators. I can run the apps. I have the like default preview app up and running. Thank the Lord. I'm gonna try and set it up so my laptop can run it tomorrow. Um, and yeah, we're gonna be set up and running. I'm gonna try and build a native app rather than a Blazery app. Um, I'm gonna do native app first because I think it's gonna be like the easiest to get something that looks semi-reasonable. Um, so I just suck. Oh God, I just suck. I sort of walked over my grave at um, CSS, HTML stuff. And then I finished my, oh, then we had dinner, watching TV. I finished my sewing. Yay. So that's my fourth one now. Made a load of improvements to the pan because the pan is shoddy and the needlework on the picture is god awful, but mine, excellent. Um, and you have to go to Twitter to check that out. It'll be on my Twitter feed. Um, words. Don't know which one to pick up next though. That's the problem. Because the next two, well I have I have more like that. I've got two more that are similar to that, but better. Like the designs are just better. They're a lot bigger actually. I think they're quite complicated. Um, I've got three that use a transparent cloth, which means you've got to be super neat because on the other side, there's, you'll be able to see the cloth on the back side. Whereas like the other side of my shit looks messy. I think I've got three of them and then I've got one other one which is like effectively instead of like flowers it's just like lines it makes like a skyline it looks so cool but gotta be neat so I've got to pick what um I've got to pick basically which is the one I'm gonna go for they're all they're either like they're all harder than the one I've just done and the one I've done previously some are harder just because they're bigger and more complicated some are harder because you've got to be really neat on the back and some are hard because you've got to be really neat on the front. I'm like, I can't decide which one I'm going to go for. So I think one of the transparent ones is relatively, like, not simple, but like small. Like there isn't much there. So maybe I'll do that as like a dip my toe in kind of thing. But anyway, that's part of my just finished watching TV. I'm going to end this video. It's been a relatively long video. And I can render it and get it uploaded tomorrow morning. We have a very exciting, very busy week coming up. I'm on call until eight o'clock tomorrow morning. And yeah, so I'll catch you later.